I press the panic button or call somebody to help me with the panic attack. How many times happened to you directly? It was only once. Do you have no? Do you have any knowledge that uh, the other nurses uh, came to see me uh, after the lockup uh, several times, or you don't know? I do because every morning we give each other a report as to who was called for anything after the lockup during the you know, already you are not in possession of my medical file, so you can't say uh, which exactly date and night uh, I was held by you guys um, as, a, as a nurses on standby or during the day. But uh, if you say that um, you are aware that I called the other nurses, do you have uh, any idea how many times happened since uh, I was uh, transported to Zonderwater prison? I won't be able to say because I do not have the file with me. If I ask you, was it there more than eight, ten times, for example? No, I, I won't be able to say I cannot give an I cannot give an estimation. Sister, do you know on which chronic medication I am every day on? It's a psychiatric medication. Like, can you can you say which medication? That I cannot say now. Um. Why? I was not prepared when I came to court today to give evidence on that. But the medication that you are given is a psychiatric medication. And when I was submitted, I was never told as to the reasons for this appeal. Right. Uh, you say it's just the. Uh, the, where is your subpoena, sister? Yeah, this is subpoena. Uh, this. I do not know. I would. My lord, uh, I left the subpoena for the for the sister. I think downstairs because uh, we're not allowed to bring any stuff here. May I be able to to have the subpoena? Well, what do you say it says? I beg your pardon. What do you say it says? The subpoena. Yes. Well, that's what I want to... Well, it's your subpoena. You've read it. You've got it. Well, that was the subpoena on behalf of me, sent it by my lawyer. Which lawyer sent it? Uh, I believe it was Mr. Nadis Crovier. When did he send it? Uh, that uh, I, don't, I don't know exactly. I, that's why I want to, to have it and see. But we can continue. With yes, continue. Yeah, what condition the, was the accused being treated for? When he came to the hospital, he was from Koshima uh, Central, and at that time he was already taking the psychiatric medication. Is it any other medication that psychiatric that you uh, know that I am uh, every day using? Yes, I know that there is um, the kind of medication which you are given for seven days. No, I'm the What do you say it's called, Mr. Kratcher? It's, um, it's um, uh, the medication, what yes. it's called. 
It's a, uh, if I can remind you, uh, okay, I'm on Zanor as a psychiatric medication. Uh, is it correct? Correct. It's, uh, I think, one milligram uh, a day. Well, it doesn't matter what it is, okay. but you get treatment. Is it fluoxetine? Fluoxetine, Yes, I know. Ativan? Ativan, you I do. It's uh, Dormicum? Dormicum. Dormicum, yes. It's every day as chronic medication. Uh, Is it correct? <laughs> That is correct. For all, for all the time I'm in Zonderwata. Correct. Plus is the is a painkillers, is a tramacet and gym pain. Six and six tablets a day, so what twelve tablets a day. What kind of medication? Tramacet. 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 And gen pain. Tramacet and gen pain. Also gen pain. Six and six tablets a day. Mm -hmm. Three times two. <coughs> yes. There are other tablets that you normally give to you when you have complaints that you are given in between the medication that you have to That's correct. There are other tablets, but I am saying now this tramacet and the gem pain is like a chronically. I am taking them on a daily basis. For a long period of time. The gen pain and the trauma set are pills that you brought with to the hospital. You brought this pills with you from Koshimampuru. That's correct. It's all the pills I brought it from Koshimampuru. Is it correct, sir, uh, sister? In the middle of the pills, they offer Yes, that's, uh, that's the Zanor, Fluoxetine, Ativan, uh, and uh, this Gempane and Tramacet. You guys supply me only in Zonor Water with the Dormicum uh, as, a, as a new medication. And the Domicam medication was prescribed by the doctor, the psychiatrist, and the other pills that we had to take to see the doctor. The psychiatrist, oh, it was for real prescription. Um, you, you mentioned the psychiatrist doctor. Is it uh, related to Dr. Dikobe? Do you know uh, that I met this Dr. Dikobe uh, several times since I am in Zonderwater prison? Correct because we took you to the psychiatrist so that when your pills are finished, you will get a real prescription. Is it correct that in my medical file is the psychiatrist report about my condition, medical health conditions? That is correct. But you don't have it with you, right? Sorry, my lord, can I maybe ask the Mr. Mashiani to uh, supply me with this uh, subpoena? If he's in possession with. I am in possession of that of this It's a
3rd of February 2016. I beg your pardon? If I'm not mistaken. Sorry, what, what do you want to say, Mr. Skruvi? I see you making gestures. My apologies, my lord. I issued it. it it's a subpoena, Duke Stakem. It was handed to the sheriff last year. The prison authorities refused to accept service very often. It was then served by hand. It all appears from the document. But it is a subpoena, Duke Stakem, taken calling upon the witness to present a medical file. Does she have control of it? I don't know, but these are other things. Yes, so ask her what you want to ask her, please, um, Mr. Crouch. Uh, the subpoena was refused uh, uh, by your sister. Uh, does it make any difference where we are today? Uh, well, what I want to say, my lord, that uh, um, this, uh, this subpoena was, uh, was uh, yes, issued Mr. Crouch, on behalf... You, you will do whatever submissions you want to make. Ask the witness the questions and fact to elicit the facts you want to be presented to me. Uh, do you remember I have also uh, several meetings with a psy psychologist from the Zonderwater prison, uh, Mrs. Dreyer? There is also the medical report in the, in the file from Mrs. Dreyer. Are you aware of its contents, Mr. Kretcher? Put it to her if you know. Someone's got a cell phone on. If you, if you know what's inside there and you want to put it to her, put it to her. Well, yeah, okay. You must know what's inside there, presumably. You've seen it. Yes, I... I so then put it to the witness. Okay. Uh, Sister, can you explain uh, uh, from your side, are you able to explain uh, my, my psychological or psychiatrical condition, health condition? Do you know what's wrong with Mr. Kratcher? No, all I know is that you consulted with a psychiatrist and a psychologist it was said that you had depression. So, because you don't have medical file by uh, with you and you don't, uh, uh, there is no, uh, um, as your qualification, you are not psychiatrist, I didn't consult with you, so you, she you are not able to. She agrees with you on all of that, Mr. Kratcher. So you're not able to Put explain. to her what your problem is. What do you say is wrong with you? Yes, I Then put to her. I say I've got this problem that's being treated. Well, I think, my lord, that it's... it's or you can't put it. I can't put it. Well, then uh, put it. Uh, my problem is the interpreter. Well, we'll do, try and deal with it. Yes. You heard she says you've got depression. Uh, are you able, sister, to, to comment anything about my depression uh, uh, problems? If you choose to tell us what you think it might be wrong with you or what the doctor says is wrong with you, you might find the state is prepared to admit it, Mr. Kratcher. Um, I, for this, for this, uh, for this time, I need my lord, uh, the, the, the interpreter, and and uh, and uh, subpoena the psychiatrist and psychologist, my lord. What do you say is wrong with you that needs treatment? Well, that's my problem. I am not a doctor, and I cannot explain express myself these in people, English. These people speak to you, so then you will, Mr. Mashiani, can you arrange the the interpreter at least telephonically for this for this accused? Mm -hmm. I did. Uh, we got times during the short interval. I couldn't get hold of uh, Miss Mutrochoko. I'll mm. try again. Right. Um, so you say you, I don't want this witness to come back. I don't. Uh, I think we are done with this witness, my lord. Thank you. Has anyone else got anything they want to ask this witness? No, no questions. Mr. No, no, Mr. Mashian. None. No, thank you. Maybe excuse. Right. What else do you want to say, Mr. Croucher? I wanted to ask you something about the crime. One of the things that I have to deal with in this case is what impact this crime has upon 
the sentencing. So, so I, I, I'd like some comment from you about what you say the impact of the nature and extent of the crime has upon sentence. So you were convicted of attempting to deal in 25 kilograms, is that right? Do you recall that? Do you recall that? No, I don't. Well, I was no convicted of? Attempting to deal in 25 kilograms of drugs. Do you remember that? Yes. So now I'd like to know from you, how many people would be affected by 25 kilograms of drugs? Do, do you know how much a person takes at a time? <coughs> Would they take no, a I'm gram? I'm not in drug business and I'm not drug addict. You don't know this? I don't know this. Either. You don't know if they took a gram, let's say? No, I don't know. Let's say they took a gram. Would that be 25,000 people that would be affected by your attempt to deal in this drug? Well, Because uh, there are 25,000 grams in 25 kilograms. I'm just trying to do the sum. You say you don't know, you don't know about these things? No, I don't know anything about Thank you. Things. Right, so we'll have to stand you down until we hear what the, where the interpreter is. Um, is, it, is it now the, the right time that uh, I, must exp I must ask uh, this court to, uh, to issue the court order, my lord? What order? Uh, because I said I, will, I, will, I want to continue tomorrow as soon as possible. I, might be, I, I need to uh, call uh, this guy as a criminologist. Well, is uh, your witness? Get him. What do I need to order him? No, you what is my problem, my lord? When I go back to prison, I'm not going to be allowed to have the access to the phone. Yeah. And I would like you, if you can give the court order, that I will be allowed to call no. these people. To no, no, I'm not giving court orders to call your witnesses. You must arrange with them to come. But how? My Lord. Well, you can do whatever you want to do. You see, no I don't have problem. access for the, my phone here. Mr. Kretcher, yes, my Lord. I'm not your lawyer. I'm not here to advise you. I'm here to deal with the problems which face me. You say one of those problems is that you can't phone. I'm sure that an arrangement can be made for you to make a phone call to him. I don't think so. Well, because that happened previously, and when I came back from the court, well, I applied for this, and uh, we'll I wasn't allowed. It. Try. Try, Mr. Kretcher. Do your best. Well, I will try, yes. Thank you. So, uh, uh, also I want to say, I wish to uh, subpoena the, the head of the prison of the Kokstad. Why? Uh, to confirm what happened uh, while I was there for two months uh, regarding to my uh, request and complaints uh, for the consultation with my lawyers. Uh, I'm not going to call him for that. I'm not going to allow you to call him for that. So, uh, basically, is it... Correct if I say that I wasn't allowed this is, is a fact, uh, is a, because um, that's the that's fact. We've dealt with these issues, I'm not going back there. And uh, can I call the head of the prison from Zonderwater? No, not unless there's a reason why he's relevant to the sentence which I'm to, so required in due course to impose upon you. Uh, can I have the so what is he going to say? my lawyer, my lord. Your lawyer? Yes. Why do you want to call your lawyer? Well, I, I, I told you from the start that I want to, my lawyer to represent me, and uh, I have the, I'm entitled to have the lawyer, and oh. uh, I wish to try to, to arrange the lawyer for tomorrow, because... You mean to phone him? To phone him, yes. You have to call him as a witness? No, to phone him, well, to phone him. Phone him, see what you can do. So, uh, is it possible that you can give the court order that no, I'm, I'm not be... giving any orders, Mr. Kratcher. Okay, my lord. Uh, that I will try my best, like you said. Yes. Make sure you succeed, because tomorrow there's my Lord, uh, to be It's not in my hands, you know. Uh, if I go back to prison and they will tell me you're not calling, that I will Mr. be not... Kretcher, yes, my Lord? I have no intention of arguing with you. Well, it's not arguing, it's just fact. It's a fact that yeah. you will do what you can, tomorrow you will tell me, and you make sure that they come. Um, I don't know why they're not here, you may not have paid them, I don't know. I just don't know, I'm not getting involved. It's another allegation about the money. It's not I'm not issue saying, I'm saying to you, Mr. Kratcher. Yes, my lord. Don't disregard me when I talk to you. No, I, did, I never. The reason, I respect, the reason that I raised the money is simply to explain to you one of the reasons that witnesses don't come might be because they don't have money. I'm not going to make an order for someone who hasn't been paid to come here. Make your own arrangements. Yeah, I right. need to have the access to the, call, uh, to the phone, my lord. So I'm sure you'll get it. That's fine. I'm satisfied. Thank you. So I will stand your matter down. Thank you. Mr. My Lord, the only evidence we intend to present are in the form of two 
reports. The one is a pre-sentence report and the other one is a suitability report. Good. Um, okay. Great consideration. And what's the position of them? Um, my understanding, I couldn't attend the pre-trial, is that my learned friend has no objection that the, these reports go into the record as uh, is. Maybe you can just confirm. What's the position of the reports which council proposes to hand up? <laughs> is, I want to know from you, are they agreed as to fact and opinion? Or are they agreed as to fact, or are they agreed as to opinion, or what are they agreed as to? Don't look at Ms. Van and if it's oh, your problem. No, I'm posing it to you. Are they agreed as to both fact Indeed, and opinion? Indeed, madam. Right, thank you. May I please put, Lord, do I need to read the content there no. into the record? No. Lord, the first one is then a report. It's marked as... So I'll receive it as an exhibit. What should I receive it as? SP1, Sentence Proceedings 1. 1, indeed. So I'll receive them as Sentence Proceedings 1 and Sentence Proceedings 2. Lord, I just wish to identify them properly for the record. It is um, dated 17 November 2015. Yeah. It and the is other one? marked... It's going to be 1. Yes, it's the marked a pre-sentence report... Decide the pondu. Whatever it's marked, doesn't matter. Date 1711. Second one? Yes. The second one is dated the very same day. That's, oh, why, that's why I would why. like to distinguish them, <laughs> Lord, okay. as the court pleases. Right. Um, this one is marked. So this is pre-sentence report, pre-sentence report. So if the witnesses come to court, you don't need that witness. I, the witnesses are present in court and they may then be excused by your lordship. Is that what you want to ask? I'm asking you that. Mr. Spanamu. Likewise, Lord. Yes, Mr. Mashiani. Indeed, ma'am. Right. The second so one... So, if the witnesses... What are, who are they? My Lord, may I just continue quickly and place the second one on the record so that your Lordship can mark this one too. Yes. It's again dated 17 November 2015. It is marked on the top as a suitability report, consideration of correctional supervision as a sentence. Okay. I request that this one then be marked. Who are the witnesses? And the witnesses are the first one is Miss Sakoba. Yeah. And the second one is Mr. Mapitza. Mapitza, Sakoba. Oh, Mrs. Sakoba and Mapitza in court? Mapitza Sakoba? Um, yes. Um, it appears that the contents of your reports has been agreed by the state and um, the council and accused number two and that neither of them wishes for you to be present in court to give evidence because the facts that you have set out and the opinions which you have made are common cause between the state and the, and the accused. Do you understand that? Um, this happened during the course of a pre-trial conference which I requested the parties to hold um, so it's, it's unfortunate that you were required to come today. Um, so you may be excused from further attendance. Thank you for coming. Right. Yes, Ms. Van Lord, Lord, that would be the only evidence um, okay. so that will be presented. Right. Um, I've got nothing further. Um, what do you want to argue? I will only argue once all the reports and documents Evidence is received. Up. And I will, at that point, address your lordship fully, as court um, uh, Well, I don't know if I'm going to agree to that, but I'll let it do it go for now. Yes? Mr. Spannenberg, do you want to have you also got reports? Yes, my lord. There, there are nine reports, as far as a, if it's applicable, as far as a Q3 to three, two, six are concerned. Three, four, five. It's, the, uh, it's a, a pre-sentence report pertaining to each of them. What's the status of all of these nine documents? It is exactly the same. We are at even concerning the opinion and the facts. reports and the facts contained. Around. And what are they going to be? SP 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 10, and 11. They'll be up to 11, is that right? 3, uh, 1 and 2. What's 2 plus 9 is 11, so it's up to 11. Well, it's... it's, it's <laughs> It'll be yes, yes, Lord, I, I, I follow you. <laughs> right. Uh, and there's there's also then four um, suitability reports. Also. Also. So that'll be uh, 12, 15, up to 15. 13, 14, 15. And what's the position of those? The same position. Uh, facts and opinions facts are agreed. Facts and opinions are, we and the state are 
at in, uh, at Eden concerning that. Okay. Then the the last report is a is known as a victim impact report. Victim impact report. Sixteen. Sixteen, my lord. Yeah. And the uh, facts and opinions they are also. Who's the victim? Let's look at. What about the yeah yes look at it right. Okay, so can they all come in? They can come in, Lord. My little friend, uh, I asked him for the originals, but he. I'm well, it doesn't matter. Well, uh, it's not the old days when you had to make a copy manually. Uh, mine and are you could make a mistake. Mine, is, mine are lost, my lord. Oh, uh, yours are lost, Mr. Masciani. Do you have so originals? Those are the ones he gave me. Do you have some copies that I can use? Yes, my lord. Uh, and and just for the purpose of the report, do you agree that the facts and opinions in each of SP3 up to and including? SP 16 or agreed as turn correct? Well, not not the numbering, my lord. My number seems to be different from... Okay, well, let's not worry about the numbering, but the facts contained in yes. the documents and the opinions in the documents, you agree? That is agreed. Right, so can I have those documents then, please? Um, hence, my earlier submission that the numbering is somewhat different. Um, for instance, my lord, uh, the pre-sentence reports... Um, Mr. Masciani. Why can't you just agree with Mr. Spannenberg what the numbers are? I've got numbers and no documents. So if you give me documents that match my numbering, I'm happy. So it's not going to match the number. Well, you'll make it match the numbering. Um. Lord, I think maybe with the greatest of respect, I think what Mr. Mashiawan is trying to say is that your Lordship numbered the first group I'm up sure to 16. I'm sure he's quite capable it's of speaking for himself this funny As the court, please, Let him speak. Okay, so that's mechanical. Then what are you going to do when they're up? Well, Lord, um, I uh, wish to address you, but I, I, I take it Miss Faliyefa uh, wants to address you first. Uh, well, I'm not sure she does. She's telling me that she doesn't want to address me until the accused one has done whatever he wants to do. I see he's standing. I don't know why. Please well, sit look, down, Lord. Mr. <laughs> Greger. Uh, Please sit down. Um... Lord, I can address you. I've, I've drafted shortly. You don't have a problem with addressing me now. I, I have none. Right, uh, so uh, before this happens, let me just find out what's happening in this court because everyone's doing different things. As a court, please. Right. Well, look, I just handed right. over the pre-sentence reports. They are five in number. So they'll go from SP3 up to SP8. And I place them accordingly in respect of the number of the accused before this court. I'm short one. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'll go up to seven. Yes. Now the... But you said eight. Did I not hear you properly? It's anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, up to it's seven. The four pre-sentence reports plus the victim impact. So there should be five months. I've got five up to seven. Yes. Oh, yes, they should run up to seven. My apologies. Now, my lord, I've got again the suitability reports. They are four in number. So that should take us up to SP11, not up to SP16. Why are those reports not per accused all put together? In other words, all the stuff for Q2 is together, all the stuff for Q3 is together, and so on, down See, until 6. I, I do understand uh, 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 that, my lord. I, there shouldn't be any problem in, in putting them well, in that know. manner. I can't believe that I'm sitting in court <laughs> debating what numbers to give to documents. No. You write whatever numbers you want on them. Yes. Right, so I'll deal with it. Those are all the reports, my lord. Hence my earlier submission that the numbering will be different from what uh, the court had earlier said. This stuff goes to 11, Mr. Spanabek. Indeed. So I'm short a whole lot of extra things according to you. 
you short documentation. Yeah. Well, I is oh, this nine for accused uh, three to six bullets. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so I've got five and I've got another four. So I've got nine. So and then they must be then the, the two for accused number two. And I've got the two for accused. So they're eleven more. But previously we went up to sixteen. Yes, that, that doesn't doesn't <laughs> add up more now. <laughs> Look, I'm just the judge of it. But can't we get this fixed up? I, 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 I picked you up at number, number 11, Lord, I think, and then added. But it doesn't matter. Mr. Masciani, are all the documents referred to by counsel up to SP16, the victim impact report, contained in this bundle, set of bundles that you've given me? Up to SP11. Yeah, but he had 16 of them. So all the things that he numbered up to 16 here? Yes. Right, and so according to me, they number up to 11. And it's everything? It's everything. Okay, well, I'll give you a chance to check that it's everything, and if it's not, you'll end it up. Okay, now let's just come back to where we were. So, um, I'll deal with you in a minute. Please. Right, Mr. Croucher, you stood up. Did you want to say something? I will ask you, my lord, uh, I'm uh, just, regarding these just chains. Just I am uh, on these chains for more than five hours, Croucher. and I, uh, my, numb and feel, my hands and feet yes. are uh, numb. Uh, yes. I, I have the pain. Is Did you speak anything? to the security about whether you uh, can be released from them safety and whether it's a security hazard if you are released? Uh, which guy from security? My I lord? don't know. Because last time when I came here, it wasn't anything like this, so it's the first time. Well, so. I don't know. The, the, the issues of security are no longer in my control. So the security, if the security says you have to wear them, you have to wear them. Right. Thank you. Ms. Svenenev, why don't you want to carry on and argue whatever you have to argue? Lord, because normally the way the sentence works is that all the evidence are presented and only after evidence is presented by the accused and by the state, then the court is addressed, taking all the evidence into account. Yes. And I propose that's the way that with the greatest of respect well, to Lord. Why can't, what prejudice do you suffer if we carry well, on? Lord, I'm not going to address the court at, at this point on it. I would like to hear all the evidence that's presented before I address your lordship at the end of the evidence pertaining to sentence. As, yeah, the court as, I entitled, as I understand the law, you're entitled to address me at the end of the evidence relating to your accused. My lord, that's not the way I understand it. Well, I want it. to know it's what the law is. I'm asking you, what is the law? The you law? wanted to, Ms. Vandenev, you wanted to argue this point. You knew it was going to come, so where's your authority and where's your assistance to the court to enable it to decide this issue? Then I'm going to ask that the matter stand down. My Lord, I've never, ever, when I've addressed the court in sentence, Does had to deal right? with it in a different way. Well, so uh, I didn't even think of it to bring the court authority. You were on asked. The, Lord, you were told please, previously. May I please finish, my Lord? I didn't even think that it would be necessary to address the court on something that happens almost on a daily basis in our courts at, in this manner. Mm. So if your lordship wants me to address you with authority, I can endeavor to go and find the authority. Why didn't you do it before? That's because my question. Because I didn't think it's going to be an issue, my lord. You knew it's an issue. No, I didn't know it was an issue, my lord. Before I, I asked all counsel whether there's going to be interposition, can they deal with this, what's happening, and you didn't bother to prepare and bring authority. So now, I say to you a simple question. Accused one wants to stand a part of his case down and, and run it tomorrow. Why is it not convenient to you to deal with the entirety of accused two's case now? My Lord, because again, as I've indicated to your Lordship before, in every manner that I've ever been involved in where sentencing has happened, the manner in which it happens when there's multiple accused are that all the accused present their evidence, then the state present their evidence, and only after all the evidence, whether it's documentary, viva voce, or otherwise has been presented, the court is then addressed in turn by the various accused. Ms. And I'm Vendor asking the, the court that that is the process that we follow here. Ms. I, I asked you a question. I've addressed your lordship on it. it no, you haven't. I have. What prejudice do you suffer if what is the usual course is not followed. My Lord, I submit it's not the usual course the way your Lordship wants to proceed. I said to you, then. assume that the usual course is not followed, i.e. we don't do what you believe to be the usual course, 
What prejudice do you suffer? Until such time as I've heard the evidence being presented by accused number two or by accused number one, my lord, I cannot address your lordship on potential prejudice. I need to hear what evidence he presents, and then I can address your lordship on that point. It, your lordship has not it, asked uh, Mr. Mashiani for the state whether he intends to present evidence. I cannot address your lordship in the absence of him dealing with the issue of whether he foresees that there is going to, or whether he wants to present any evidence. As the court pleases. True. Uh, you ready, willing, and able? I am a lord. I, fact, Let me just hear from the state whether there's more evidence. Uh, Ms. Van den Yeffer raised it. that at the pre-trial, but yes. Well, I, I understood it to be so, but it's not something which has been made public. Perhaps Ms. Yes. Van den Yeffer, who declined to attend the pre-trial, uh, doesn't know. What What is the position as far as the state needing additional evidence is concerned? Well, look, the state is not going to need any evidence, I will argue. Can you suggest what prejudice accused two might suffer? if he is required to carry on with his case now? None, my lord. I submit it. Right, what's the time? Well, we'll start with you, Mr. Spellenberg. And then we'll go to, possibly to accused two. We'll see how far we go. As a court reason, I've, I've uh, drafted brief heads of argument. Accused three, four, five, six heads. Thank you. I'm grateful to you for preparing some heads. Lord, um, the, the personal particulars are, are um, at length before your, your lawsuit, so I won't deal with that. Yeah, that no, will, part of the reports, yeah. I, th I, I submit. Perhaps you can just help me by indexing these reports. Um, can I just indicate I don't have a copy of the heads. Sorry. Okay. I'll give it Right, okay, so in SP3, is Mr. Maruping. Right. Um, right, so you say that I must look to this report um, by page and number, and then I will see what. No, I'm not. I, I haven't referred to the reports, Lord. They're no, there, no. They're there for the, for the but I must the, add on what you say in the head. Yes, I, I, I intend addressing your lordship on the on the merits of the case, the of, of the different offences for sentencing purposes. Yes, and the facts underlying each of those. Yes, Lord. Submissions I will find in each of these um, reports. Okay. Yes, we can do that. Yes. Right. So let me hear the argument which you have to make in respect of three to six inclusive. As a good thing. Right. Per your heads. Lord, uh, perhaps we should just uh, to uh, to remind ourselves, uh, um, if I may just say, what the accused were convicted of. Yes, I'm grateful to that. I need that as a, a starting since. point. So three is kidnapping and attempted murder. Four kidnapping and assault. Five kidnapping, attempted murder, and attempting to deal, and six kidnapping and attempted murder. Okay. Indeed, sir. Right. Now I deal with the, the headings of the different offences. Correct. The first heading is kidnapping and assault. Okay. My my first submission is that there's no evidence. I believe it's, it wasn't your lordship's finding, if I was correct, that uh, three, use three, five, and six were present the night when Lukele was was uh, kidnapped from his home. Right. There's no evidence, in fact, the only evidence is that of Kelly who pointed out the accused number four yeah. as being present there. Yeah. Uh, my submission as far, far as the assault is concerned, of which accused number four was convicted, and that relates to the to the incident at Lokele's house, I submit that that, that assault... Um, is part of the kidnapping. It's part of the kidnapping. It was a, a process... So that's a question of concurrency. Uh, that's my submission that your, your, your lordship takes the... Uh, those two sentences of offences together for Was he convicted separately of the assault at the house? He was, yes, Lord. So four, it's the assault at the house. Yes. Not anywhere else, and the kidnapping. And, and, the kidnapping. and you say there's concurrency. That's, yes, Lord. Pardon, okay. Um, there's also, and I submit, uh, 
this to me is quite important. There's no evidence that accused three, four, and six were at any stage present at the safe house. So that's duration. Yes. Duration of kidnapping. Or, or any evidence that they even knew about the safe house. Right. Well, that's or, the same issue. It's duration. Yes. I mean, was he con was he kidnapped for short term? Yes, in these Then, um, as I understand, with respect to your lordship's um, judgment on the on the merits correctly, you found kidnapping to be have been uh, perpetrated during a trip uh, to Ermela, and that's yeah. where accused uh, three and six uh, were, were on the, on that they were convicted. Um, on the basis that they were involved in the kidnapping on that trip. Yeah, so that's a, a sucky. My submission is that they were not, there's no evidence that they were directly involved in restraining or containing or, or uh, keeping Lukele a prisoner on this trip. He was, a he was a different vehicle. So it's got to do with the um, extent of control over the kidnapping yes. and the extent of the fear and consequent Correct. conduct. I don't understand your lordship's... Uh, it's an extent issue. Yes. So how severe is the kidnapping if I'm not directly not doing directly. these things? Uh, your lordship's finding, as I, as I gather, that they knew about, about it, but they were not directly involved in the training. They weren't holding him down or no. blindfolding him or pushing him to the bottom of the car or doing what, whatever was done. Right, I understand so, that. Yes. So you say that's a less moral blameworthy position. Indeed, um, as far as the attempted murder is concerned, the Lord, um, I submit that it would appear that accused number one, and, uh, and uh, looking at the evidence, that he was on a frolic of his own when he poured the boiling water over uh, over Lukele. Yeah, you say they didn't do it. At best, they sucky, and they couldn't do much to dissociate themselves from the act because it happened fast. Is that your submission? Yes, Lord. It seems like a spur of the moment thought by accused number one. One looks at. Look at his evidence. Well, he seems to know because he did some things. He did the look at me, do you want to die like a soldier move? He did some of these things. Yeah, yes, indeed. But then he went to fetch the boiling water and they poured it. Well, he went and boiled the kettle and yes. brought back the kettle full of boiling well, water. Well, there's no indication that... Well, he must have... It wasn't... <laughs> what I'm way. saying is that he, that he accused uh, uh, three, uh, were, five were and six. They're not active participants. Not active. Yes. Uh, well, as I state in my head, it's, it's, it, okay. at most they passively reconcile themselves with accused ones. Right. Actions. Okay. And looking at uh, at the uh, at the injuries, that be so, the, the assault with boiling water must must be must be horrendous. But looking at the injuries, my lord, I submit that the injuries weren't life threatening. Well, he managed to recover. He managed to recover. He didn't need. I think he's recovered completely, except so. for some skin pigmentation. Look, even it seems to me, uh, in terms of the evidence, that he delayed the treatment for, the, for the, after his release as well. It wasn't as if he went to a, for emergency treatment immediately. Well, he'd been treated by one, uh, one of the accused who gave him some help on the way, didn't he? Yes, but well, that's, that's treat, treatment by a layman. Uh, but the fact of the matter is... He did go to the doctor the next doctor, day. He did go to the doctor, but it wasn't life threatening. He wasn't hospitalized. Well, he recovered. And it seems he was never... The sequela, I think the point you make, the sequela, not... Yes. The sequela, the sequela. Or not substantial. Right. And, uh, and as far as accused number five is concerned, I think, Lord, you make a very important finding, that he was opposed to killing... That's a subsequent killing, of course. Yes, but it does, it does affect... Really, his 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 intention, uh, or the extent of his intention at the time of the of the occurrence of the assault. Yeah, it does. I submit it does reflect on 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 his criminality as far as that affects. Yeah. Well, then uh, um, the my Did last it, submission it. is that the lordship not only takes the time accused three, four, and six were held in custody pending today's sentencing, which is six months close to But also taken uh, taken consideration that they were for, they were in custody for six weeks uh, after their arrest before they got bail.
but that your lordship, in fact, considers this when imposing a sentence. It considers as to, to regard this as a possible double period. And I refer to a matter, uh, uh, the matter of state versus Stephen, where his lordship... The double uh, period's been done away with in the SCA. That period. It's now to be regarded as a factor. Yes, my lord. I remember historically we used to give double. Yes. Double off. If you were in for six months, you got double off. Yes, but I, I do, uh, that, that matter, it was to say it may be regarded as double the sentence. But I've forgotten that, the name yes. of the case, but it Brody, Brophy. Yes. State versus Brophy. Yes. I think it's been over, well, not overruled, no, no, but no, it's but been modified. It's still a considera consideration, simply for the fact that, that the circumstances of your incarceration as a waiting type uh, trial prisoner. Well, they're actually better, I think, than... No, but they don't have the same privileges. Do they get... Is it worse? It's worse. Okay. It's worse. Uh, I that's what, the, I that thought was the uh, ratio of... Of, of, uh, of Brophy. Visit, no, of, of, of Stephen. Of uh, I thought visit, that one Scott. of the reasons was that if you get a year, then you get half off, roughly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> by the parole board. Yes. A and, and so if you did six months, it actually counts for a year. Well, I thought that was part of the thinking. I don't think your lordship can really... And I think that thinking has been done away with, yes, that it's yes. not good. Indeed, sir. Well. But my, my submission is that it must be well, seriously considered... Well, I must take it into account in some way. considered as a, as, a, as, a, as a severe form of but punishment already. Well, well it's a factor. <laughs> it, it is a factor. In terms of health, yes. Okay, what do you say about this um, dealing in or attempted dealing in the drugs? Oh, I haven't dealt with that. Have I? Uh, well, you missed 10 and 11 for five. Accused, uh, five... I, I, I submit that he was, he was very peripheral to all of us. The only evidence really which, which uh, incriminates him is his own Ipsa Dixit where he says, uh, uh, I think it was Peter who testified to this, we, we are seeking dr drugs with millions. Um, but he's really peripheral, but what he, he acts on, uh, if one looks at what happened, he, he, he was acting on instructions. Uh, and uh, it, it's just he wasn't involved them. in, it doesn't seem that he was involved in the actual pre-kidnapping or pre-doctor uh, drug dealing. And I think that's important. There's no indication that. No. There's it seems to be in one and two. I, yes, my lord, it seems so. It seems so. And that's my submission as far as the case five is concerned. He, peripherally, was brought in but, no, let's not just to deal, deal with drugs. Let's just deal with what they are. So what is three? Is he a policeman? Three is a policeman, yes. Uh, we're holding what rank? Uh, warrant officer. They're all three warrant officers, three. Three, four, four and six. Three, four and six. Four and six. Policeman. The warrant officer. Policeman. Warrant officer. And five is a taxi person. He's a taxi owner and taxi person. <coughs> so, so if we look at three, four and six who are policemen, um, What's the position in society when officials who you appoint to combat crime, as it were, betray you and go to the other side? Uh, what should, what attitude should society adopt to that? Well, uh, case law is on top of the attitude, my lord. It, it, it is, uh, and I'm sure my other friend will argue that more strenuously than I do, but no, it is uh, aggravating, no doubt. And then I wanted to ask about the drugs, the same question that I asked accused number one. If there's 25,000 grams or 25 kilograms of drugs, let's call it ice or, or meth, crystal meth, then, then how many, I don't know, the, I think the colloquial word is a hit. Yes. Or whatever, I don't know if you suck it up your nose or you shoot it into your toe or whatever you do with it. Or you eat it, I don't know what you do. Well, I call it eating with your nose. Is it called eating then? So how much of that do you do you do you use? Do you have a submission <laughs> no, as to I how many people or how many hits to use that uh, translated into people that quantity of drugs would produce? Would it be twenty five thousand people? Would it be fifty thousand people? Well, Lord, I, I, I know I that when you take drugs, they talk about like two hundred and fifty milligrams or whatever, yes. and this is a heavy dose for you. I don't know, is it like that with drugs? Well, I suppose you some, some people take singles, some people take doubles, as with alcohol. <laughs> I would not know, but You I, don't know? I would not know. But I mean, they wouldn't take more than a gram at a time, would they? 
Gram, gram seems, seems, it seems quite a lot. Quite a lot. So let's say they're 25,000 grams. And that's 25,000 people. Well... Let's say each person takes a hit. Number of users, yes. So now, if you take 25,000 grams and 25,000 people, if they take one a day, then how many... It would be 25,000 people. But if it was one person... How many years supply is there? There's a few years, a 50 or 60 years supply. I don't have the maths. But one can do the sum, it's a long time. Look, uh, it must be, if one looks at the value, uh, the value... Uh, well, the number of people. Yes. So if I translate that into, say, a day, a person, that would be like minimum 50, 60 years. Well, what, what is the, I, I, I'm not. I'm, no, no, no. I'm in the dark. I, I don't know. Yeah, so you don't have a submission to make. No, no, I have no submission. It just seems to me that if someone did the, the sum, so 25,000 people divide by, let's say, 500 days in a year, it would be 50 years. If I give an accused one day for well, each of those, yes, depends on the frequency for each of those uses, he would have to get 50 years. I, I can imagine that... And if it's less, then he has to get proportionately more. 25 kilos must be a substantial supplier, there's no doubt. And then do, the other question is this. Do, do we owe the Australians that this was going to some kind of duty to protect them from our criminals by imposing punishments which are appropriate to prevent and deter our criminals from conducting themselves as a threat towards Australians. Well, there can be no doubt about that. So I must take society as including the, the extended society, which would include, let's say, the intended destination of the drugs. Yes. I must yeah. consider that we need to protect these people too. I don't believe there's, there's room for to dif differentiate between victims, the nationality, for instance. I don't mm. think so. Um, no, that, that, that so it would be appropriate to say society includes the destination for which the I, drugs I would, are intended. So. But, but may, may I just add, as far as accused number five, five is concerned, Yeah, uh, five, yeah. He, he was, as I say, on the peripherals. He, he, he was not the, the supplier. He was only the searcher in this, in this case. As, as he was know. a protector of the persons who were doing it. Yes, that's but, really but, what he but was. But the fact of the matter is, there's no indication that dealing in drugs was his business. No, his drugs. He was, was brought into this as as part, uh, as as management control. I should yeah, think. Yes, like the a protector of, of the business. Yes, my lord. Isn't he, that just as bad? No, my lord. He, he was brought in at a, at a stage when, when it was he was never needed. As I understand the evidence, and there's no evidence to the effect. Never needed an actual drug dealing. No, he was, he was brought there's no in, evidence that he actually. He was brought in. Things have gone wrong. Help us. Yes. Protect my business. Yes. And it's, it's much different than your normal. I know the, the, the definition for dealing in, in drugs is very wide. It's, uh, uh, it's got a whole list of... Yes. Uh, we Associate know with... Oh, yes. Well, Lord, uh, if, it, if one looks at that, uh, at that definition, there's actually no, no room for, for, for possession, <laughs> in actual fact. Because if you possess, you... Whatever you do, you own. You own. So wide is the definition. We've, we've argued that point a number of times. Possession is also involves uh, dealing. But be that as it might. He was, as I say, not a mainline drug dealer. He was brought in for management, control, risk management, whatever. Um, he's not a seller. And I think the seller is... Uh, the definition may be wide, but I think the seller is the is the main target in any such such uh, drug related uh, deals. He's the main target. He's the main perpetrator. Uh, he was a he was a on the side. I seem to recollect that I gave a mule, or I was involved in giving a mule who had five or six.